reptiles, including snakes, are really very, very accomplished at regulating their temperature. Uh, and and they, they do that in a whole bunch of ways. They, 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 there's a little bit of physiological stuff. So many reptiles that are too cold will bask in the sunshine. And, and almost everybody's seen that and is familiar with that behaviour. We've seen skinks doing it and that sort of thing. They'll sit in the sun on a cold day to warm up. Um, but they're also very heat sensitive. So they want to warm up, but only so far. Once their body temperature gets sort of in, for, for a lot of the temperate species in Victoria, once the body temperature gets into the early 30s, that's as far as they want to go. And much more than that can very rapidly kill a reptile. So when you get really stinking hot weather, you know, if you've got a 40 degree February day, one of those baking hot days, it's really hard to find snakes. And any snakes that are out there will be seeking much cooler micro microclimates so they, they're going to be in the shade they're going to be under a rock they're going to be somewhere where they can be cool on that day because if they're caught out in that 40 degree heat it'll be lethal very very quickly so uh so the super hot weather no um but and which is why often most of the visible snakes most of the, the encounters people have and the sightings they have are often in spring or autumn because you've got that milder weather and the snakes need to make themselves, need to expose themselves to sunshine, therefore they're more visible. Now, there's still the same amount of snakes around the whole year. They're just not, you know, in, in winter, they're, they're maybe they're, they're sheltering and, and hibernating. Uh, and in those really, really hot days, uh, they're, they're trying to not expose themselves to too much heat. But there's a really important side of this that has uh, some human health implications, and that is in the really, really warm weather, Often the snakes will be active after dark, uh, which they can't do in the colder weather. So, uh, but but often after dark, people aren't thinking about snakes. So so the snakes aren't on people's mind. So they're not being as cautious as they might otherwise be. So the risk is that the you, you've had a stinking hot day. It's been late like 30s, 40 degrees, um, and everyone's getting around in shorts and thongs because it's summer. Uh, and maybe you're having a barbie at the park or in your backyard, and you had a couple of drinks, shorts and thongs, it's after dark, you're not thinking. And the poor old snake is going, okay, I'm going to go out after dark now because snakes don't need the daylight. They, they do pretty good in, in low light conditions. And they're cruising around. You don't see it because it's dark. Um, you're not thinking because it's dark. You've had a few beers. Uh, you step on the snake and the snake doesn't know what's going on and it, it flicks around and chops you on the ankle or the leg or something. So so I think the, the risk in hot weather, ironically, is... is in the cooler part of the day and often after dark rather than on those baking hot afternoons. Uh, but of course there is also, you know, it's, the snake's not going to be out when the air temperature is 8 degrees and it's grey and cloudy and raining. The snake will also be sheltering. So they have sort of some sweet spots. It's just that at the cooler end of the sweet spot they'll be trying to warm up and at the hotter end of the sweet spot they'll be trying to cool down. So it's about finding a nice, nice moderate balance. Yeah, and they the do snake. a really good job. I, one of the things I like to say to people, I think this is a pretty good rule of thumb, is that snakes like the same weather we do. 